We can bet on it, huh? Well, I know someone who wants to bet on this, Thomas Hayes. He's the founder of uh, and managing member of Great Hill Capital. Always good to see you, my friend. Um, we are kind of betting on it, right? Wall Street's betting that inflation is going to come down. And that's why we've had this little mini rally. But then this past week, we got a little nervous. Today, we had those wholesale inflation numbers come in at, um, I think, 0.3%. The estimate was 0.2%. So it was a little hot. And we didn't really like it. Yeah, that's right, Phil. However, leaving that aside, we do believe there will be no Grinch and Santa will come to town in time for the end of the year. Uh, despite that hot, hot, hotter than expected uh, PPI number uh, this morning, the key is the trend. And the trend has been rolling over relatively aggressively since it peaked in July on the PPI. Uh, so that's rolling over. On the flip side, we also had Michigan consumer sentiment today uh, and that was up. Okay, that, that's been actually that bottomed in the summer and that's been going up steadily ever since. So the 50 basis points hike is kind of baked into the cake for next week. Uh, certainly we get the CPI number on Tuesday. I don't think that's going to change much. The key is going to be all of the data points we get between the December meeting and the February meeting, which is their next meeting. And there are quite a few data points. And if you look at M2 money supply uh, over the last year, it's really come down quite a bit and usually inflation follows that. So we're pretty optimistic that February, by February, there'll be enough data that they can go less than 50, maybe 25. And, you know, zero is actually not out, out of the question, although that's a minority view. Well, so uh, we'll uh, see how that plays. Anything is possible. You mentioned consumer yeah. sentiment, 59.1. A number above 50 is, is, is hot. Uh, Wall Street, I believe, was expecting a, a lower number versus the previous number, but it was the opposite, right? So if the goal is to slow the economy down and have people spend less or be a little less optimistic, we didn't get that. If the goal was to bring down wholesale prices, we didn't get as much as we were hoping for. And it's shocking. You know why? Because oil prices are down 30, 40 percent from the peak. Yeah. And yeah. We should be seeing a bigger drop in an inflation. I, I just want to get down to it. Why are we not seeing that faster in the numbers? Or is it just not how the way the economy, it's what we want, but we don't have it. Yeah, well, it's, it's services. Uh, we're certainly, there, there was a lot of action there. But it is down from 8.1 year on year to 7.4, despite the fact that uh, estimates were for 7.2. You know, you have a lot of people, Phil, calling for another leg down in the market and new lows because they're betting that earnings are going to come down next year. Uh, but historically, if you look back since 1957, the last six cycles, the stock market bottoms uh, six to 12 months before earnings bottom. So are, even are if, you saying that the bottom is in and we should buy? Well, we've been buying. I, I know I've been on with you in October when things were a lot lower and, uh, and, and a little bit in November. So we think there's a tremendous opportunity. We've got some selective picks. It's like Warren Buffett says, if you wait for the robins let's, to sing, let's, it's already let's, spring. Let's right? hear, are we buying oil stocks? Because they were hot and they've been hot, right? But they've pulled back a little bit. Banks were supposed to be good. They've pulled back. They haven't recovered. And then we have this disaster in the technology world. And I know you love Chinese stocks, too. Where should we put our money? Well, I, th I think I've got three for you. Number one, Mickey Mouse. OK, they opened the park in Shanghai. Parks were up 36 percent last quarter. Bob Iger is going to cut the costs on Disney Plus. They gained 12 million subscribers. We like Amazon, by the way. You can buy it at 2018 prices. AWS is up three times. Ad business is up three times. E-commerce is up two times. And Prime members are up 63 million. But it's the same price as four years ago. And then you, you hit the nail on the head. China's reopening. There's going to be massive stimulus. They don't have the inflation problem. So expect fiscal and monetary policy. The KWEB, which is the China Internet ETF, is up 60 percent off its lows. It's now outperforming both the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq year to date. Six weeks ago, no one could imagine that. Alibaba is up 62 percent off its lows. We, that's our top pick in China for the next one to two years. So we think there's a lot, lot to do. What about the EV stocks? Because that's been, that's been pretty hot lately as well. That goes in my too hard pile. Uh, <laughs> I like to bet on sure things, and, I, and I'm looking at the digitization of China. They are right now, AliCloud is where AWS was in 2016. We think that's going to add about $10 billion of operating income over the next three to four years in China. They've got 38% market share. It's going to help the goals of the country to digitize and to grow very, very fast. 
uh, and, and Alibaba is right in the sweet spot. So that's where I want to be. I'll leave the EV uh, uh, stock right, to other so, people who have more so specialized if, knowledge. If you're right, our control room is happy, and we're going to have you back as a guest next year. I think this is how this works. Very All quickly, right. uh, the Fed meeting next week is a pretty big one. Uh, do you expect any change in the tone of what they said uh, from the last time we had the meeting? Uh, well, the big thing is the dot plot, right? So the, the last time it was a 4.6% terminal rate, that's going to go up. Uh, hopefully below five, I think futures had it at 4.9. Maybe that ticked up a little bit today. I think anywhere around five, four, four seven, five to five, two, five, the market would be okay with below five is better. Uh, and that's really the name of the game. I think 50 is baked in at this point. It's going to be the forward guidance. And then more importantly than the guidance is going to be the data over the next two months between now and February. But the most important theme is that we're, we're getting off emergency hikes of 75 basis points. We're getting closer to the end. And that's, that's a runway for, and, for equities in and, 2023. And, and that's why you say there's a Santa rally coming, right? I think that's part of it. And I think it's also positioning, Phil. When you look at people's uh, cash positioning and getting caught flat-footed into the end of the year, uh, I think there's an opportunity as we get through the CPI number and the Fed meeting this, this week. The tax loss selling is now mostly in the rearview mirror. I think you're going to find a bid into year end. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Thomas, good to see you. Thank you. Have a good Thanks weekend. Thanks for having me, Phil.